Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add products to Shopify POS. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here on Shopify, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Okay, so adding products to Shopify POS or POS or point of sale is quite straightforward. You can do this either via the Shopify admin or directly to the POS app. If you haven't already, you might want to need to go to the apps center first and then here type in POS or POS or point of sale. When you see that, which is powered by Shopify itself, I want you to click on it because this account is recently created so I haven't had a chance to integrate point of sale so here we're going to start from scratch all right so this is going to be dependent on your store or business or niche and as you can see once you have set up your pos you can simply add products directly from here all right if you click on it you see that you can build your inventory with the items you want to sell in person. You can start with just one or add a few. And you can always add one more later. If you click on this button right here, you would be forwarded to a new page wherein you just have to create something from scratch. And we're going to do it. I'm going to put in something like this. I'm going to put in some... Um, I'm going to be more creative. You have the liberty to be creative. Going to underline and of course center that. I'm going to add an image here. Now I'm gonna add this specific image. And of course, you can be creative and you have the liberty to do so. All right. Now you can also upload a new media here for the uh, thumbnail. Just wait for it. And then of course you can put in the price say for example if that's going to be 69 you can also put in the compare at price if you want it you can track the quantity and of course you can have the shop location you can continue selling when out of stock or this product has like a sku or barcode it's up to you for example i'm going to put in this uh, first option here and you also have the option for uh, is it going to be a digital product or a physical product all right you can add variants for example it's going to be uh like a color if you wanted you can add another option for like a uh, blue create a custom uh, color like a uh, red add values and click on done all right Now, once you're happy with that, all you have to do is click on save. You have successfully added a product to Shopify POS or point of sale. So that's one way. You see, um, we have uh, did that on the uh, POS or here on the sale channels, right on the POS itself. As you can see, you have more options for the staff. Now, while you are on the uh, point of sale, you might want to check some of the hardware store that is available, wherein you can connect to device over Bluetooth and accept tap and chips payment anytime. So these are going to be your options, just like a segue. All right. So another option that we can add to the uh, point of sale is by clicking on the products. All right. So we can create another product from the product section, which is not part of the POS. All right. Now here, let's say I'm going to create another duplicate. I'm not going to upload anything here. Maybe. Um, I'm going to press enter. 
Alright, and of course, you can put in the uh, same information from what we did earlier. You can put in some uh, compare at price. That. Of course, you can put in this product as an SKU, like maybe. Or even a barcode if you wanted. We're not going to add an, 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 another uh, variant here, but instead before you click on save i want you to put uh go to this uh, section this is going to be very important because we're going to put in on the point of sale all right so this is going to be the sales channel online store shopify and point of sale all right you can put in the product type vendor collections and tags and you can also have the uh, theme template which is going to be for default products once you save that i want you to You see this one on the publishing click on the point of sale all right now you might want to click on the preview to make sure that all of the information for your product to shopify pause is correct right so that's uh, good i'm going to switch over to the pause again now you can simply pin to your navigation so we can see that on the left side panel of our dashboard to see it easily and again i'm going to click on the uh, point of sale i'm going to save it for now I'm going to click on it again, click on save, and I'm going to make sure that everything here is correct. I'm going to click on the preview. You see? So we have successfully created our another product here on the point of sale. Once you're happy with that, you might want to check in if the information is correct. And I save it on the uh, preview on done. All right. Catalog and contact. You see this so i have added all the products on the pass or point of sale if you wanted to enter a quantity let's see how it's gonna get that and add to cart you see that so we have successfully created you can always review and import products here and this will sync to your shopify pause system as well once you have added products using any of these methods they will automatically appear on the shopify pause app which is ready for sale i'm switching over to the um, catalog and contact want to make sure that the pause is correct now if in case you are encountering any problems adding products to your shopify pause i want you to click on the help center and from here all i have to do is type in your questions Hopefully, one of the customer support staff will give an insight and troubleshooting steps on how to add products to your Shopify point of sale if in case you encounter any problems. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.